Hello and welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I'm here with my mother, Shelly. Hello. My father, Gary. Hello. And my husband, Jared. Hello. Today, we're going to be chit-chatting to you about the two most recent Wheelie Peaks. But before we get into that, a cheeky word from our sponsor, the My Little Homestead t-shirt shop. If you'd like to find or get a, f- a bunch of really fun, unique, artistic, playful, perhaps even, shirts and designs of all kinds on various products the link will be down in the description we offer all sorts of fun stuff so if you haven't checked it out or if you haven't checked it out in a while we're always adding new designs to it you have suggestion for shirts too we're always open to those as well because you're so creative we we would be foolish not to hear you (laughs) okay now on wednesday uh skylar and shay put out a video and i believe they were uh you know doing kind of the the loose ends of various projects that they had been doing and actually the whole family got together participated in that as some finishing a painting uh, working on roof there's some yard work stuff that we did there was a scene in there where bryson is painting on the roof and he talks about painting something on the roof yes uh, well that triggered some people to share their stories <laughs> so mark shahan says a guy in milwaukee painted welcome to cleveland on his roof to prank people flying in <laughs> Oh, Brenda says, years ago when dad and friends put on a new roof, dad took tar and wrote John 316. Someone flying over took a picture and we made the news. <laughs> <laughs> How fun is that? That's a lot of fun. <laughs> no, we're not. That's I don't, a lot of fun. I don't know if we get too much air traffic over the top of that building, but it'd still be fun. It's like a whole canvas just waiting for something. I don't know. Yeah. We, we Remember when we had the hoop barn set up and we had the mm-hmm. tarps on there from that we had bought? The, They're just billboard, billboard. So. yeah oh, and yeah. we flipped it around and we had the baby and the mother yeah, so on top weird. of it so weird. and i'm sure when people were <laughs> flying by and they saw the hoop barn they would have been like is that a baby's face what what's going on that? down there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't it say something like ugly kids yeah it was something so like weird that. it was weird don't i don't know why pick, we did it that you don't way. i never pick, thought about people from above like yeah. yeah. they had been like oh there's covered. that ugly kids we're halfway there everybody <laughs> <laughs> hey did you see the ugly kids down there <laughs> we don't get to pick the billboards so they just kind of show up yeah. and that was one of the unfortunate ones that we got that's the side that has the uv protection on them so that's why you have to have that the oh. usually the the design part of it facing the sun so yeah. that's why we had it like we that. learned that the hard way because when we actually got the hoop barn and it was all intact, we we, we picked up back all, in the day. Yes, we got yeah. all the hoops for a hundred bucks. Remember, we picked that up, mm-hmm. and then we got the used billboards to put on it, and we flipped them the other way so it was all white. We thought we were so oh, cool. Yeah, but no UV protection on that. Mm. That didn't last probably maybe a year if we were if lucky. That, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> then we had to flip it. them over to the ugly kids. So if you're doing billboard uh, hoop barnish, there you go. You don't have to make the same mistake we did. <laughs> <laughs> you get to show might- all the world your ugly kids. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. These are pictures of our kids. Aren't they ugly? <laughs> oh my gosh, can you imagine? I feel like you get smacked as a parent. Oh, parenting. Like, oh. That's bad parenting. Right <laughs> bad parenting 101. Do not do, do that. Do not one. do that. Either. Now, we had a scene, I believe, in there as well that we had a bunch of caterpillars in the backyard oh, there when sure. we were working on the yard work. Jared and I were joking that there was a mass exodus because as we were taking down tree limbs and putting them in the back of the truck, there was out the gate, there was just hundreds that just kept floating out mm-hmm. that and they didn't, gate. I never really saw many go through the chain link, chain link fence. Uh-uh. So they always just went for the gate yeah, for the whatever gate. reason. You know what's interesting is that on the other side of the gate was a road. So as you're driving by, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when... When we had the wheelbarrow out, that's that's the case. That like, was the case, and you you didn't want to hit him because you're like it's a mass exodus. I don't want to be the murderer, but you know you had yeah. to kind of get where you needed to go. So <laughs> there was that. Brenda Dunstan said, "I just read an article about those caterpillars. They are oh. white line sphinx moths. Oh, which is very cool. I thought they were tomato caterpillars. You know, they kind of oh, look like, yeah. but they're a not. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Do the tomato ones that you always find tomato on worms." Yeah, do they ever turn into anything? Or are they just more worms? tomato worms? Where do you think they all come from? <laughs> I think they're moths too. Are they moths as well? Yeah, well, they look like big tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> they're almost neon. They still somehow <clears throat> blend into those plants. It's 
unbelievable. unbelievable. You wouldn't think it would yeah. be yes. possible, but I unless you so. go out there, you know, like with a black light, and yeah, they, they the really glow light. and they're fun to. <laughs> they're fun we to used find. to do that with Bryce when he was little. He oh, loved that. he loved the black. Those light. and the scorpions. He used yeah. to go around. I think we did the scorpions thing once, but then it got too scared to know what all was out there. <laughs> Everything oh. glowed, but probably not for Bryson, who you know digs into beehives. So Mary McCowan asks, "What do you do with your yard waste?" We do the hugel culture thing and i believe we have videos on that from way 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 back in the day the, uh, but th- the hakalugi culture is yeah that what you uh yeah you just insulted half of germany so <laughs> i know the hugel cultures hugel culture hugel hugel and it's spelt german but um <laughs> the idea i believe correct me if i'm wrong but you have berms that you put up where the water flows to stop the water flowing so that it stays on your land um and we did that a lot of years ago and yeah. we still have berms that we put up today. yeah that's actually it's a combination, combination of the hookah culture and then the idea of in the desert okay. slowing water down so we kind of have both of instead of water. just doing the mounds and the berms we made those into hookah cultures okay so that's kind of Okay, and so the idea of the hula culture is to have tree material, branches, whatever it is, wood inside yeah. of a dirt berm. And then when it rains or collects water, that water will stay in the dirt longer, mm-hmm. having that material it's there. This so. idea of a sponge and yeah. holding it. and mm-hmm. Very nice. Yeah. I, uh, we go in spurts around here where we have a lot of rain some years and some years we don't. Yeah. So I don't know if we've really been able to see a huge difference on our land using them over the years. But maybe if we got some rain, we would. <laughs> Which we had did this, this year. year. We did no, this year. We so. a lot of rain this year. Uh, so yeah, if nothing else, it stops the, the water from rushing through and you know tearing stuff out. If nothing well, else has helped that. So funny, yeah. So the other day we, we were getting a storm in and it was bad so we thought well we'll just take off we had to go into town and so we we're on, into town and we passed by it kind of through it and then when we get to town the same storm hit us again so it was like a double wobble right there three times three times we got hit with it well yeah because we had to go through it <laughs> it was moving so slow so slow yeah we left kind of got out into the open had to go through it while we were in town it hit us again so <laughs> yes it was a, it was crazy. the thrice devoured yes it was, uh, <laughs> thrice devoured <laughs> or is it the three times Times devoured. That's from uh, Horton or the Who. Yeah, that's right. It is. <laughs> Three times devoured. Hmm? Sorry. Sorry. Moving, moving <laughs> reference for you. Okay. Uh, and now on Friday, we had that video come out on mm-hmm. Slide Rock Park. Yes. Very cool. Which yes. uh, we, we spent a lot of time on that one because yes, it was super fun to go there. It's beautiful. Uh, that ranger that we bumped into mm-hmm. was super nice and very friendly and willing to talk with us, which was awesome. And the whole layout of how you learned about it was very interesting as well where it started with the tourist cabins you are like i thought it was an apple orchard you know like it, it was really neat going mm-hmm. through the history of that very yeah. intriguing as you're walking through you're like yeah. all right what's going on here <laughs> miss Mignos, she says that was really interesting thanks for taking us along so what do they do with the apples we have no, no idea, idea. <laughs> We've looked, too. We tried to figure out what they do with the apples. There was a interview that was done with one of the granddaughters a few years back. And she said that they recently packed some, so yeah, but I'm, I imagine they might still sell them to certain specialty markets, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, They could get a little mobile apple cart out there, roll it out there for the picnickers, sell their apples for a buck a piece, and they would... They just they blow just them out of there. Out. They yeah. do a they do a festival out there at the end oh, of the harvest okay. where you get to go have your own apples and they they oh, do that. Oh, that I know. would be fun to go. So to. I just looked it up because I was hoping to find the answer for the <laughs> second time, but it, um, still no dice. But I don't know that there's a festival. That's that's the near as we can tell. Mm-hmm. So uh, now we had so many folks coming in and sharing their memories of Slide Rock Park, which was just a neat reminder that this place has been around since the dawn of time. But also, it's been an attraction for over 100 years. That's pretty incredible, you know. And so to hear people's stories and Mm -hmm. and their memories that they shared was really super special. So thank you for doing that. Tom Arden says, I climbed on the flumes in the 80s. (laughs) (laughs) I would do that. Oh, no, no, no. I'd watch people do that. That That doesn't look safe. (laughs) MQ said, Bree, did you ever get an apple? And yes, actually, we had a scene of eating up because we actually took apples with us yeah but 
the footage was all buzzy and I we couldn't use it. Yeah. So, so it wasn't their apples, it was just no, an apple you brought in. An yeah. apple we brought in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that one scene where you're like, Man, I wish I could eat an apple, that wasn't the only scene. Of, oh, I had a lot. There of was like at least there was at least four different or at least three or four different scenes like, Oh man, I just really want an apple. Oh man. And then trying to just, deviously go, you know, maybe if I and Jared's like mm. Maybe if it just kinda <laughs> fell into my car as I'm driving away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I read on the website today that they're chalky and very tasteless when they're not ripe. So oh, it probably was. Does that make you feel better? Yeah, it does make me feel a little okay, bit better. Okay. That was nice. Believe me, that was hard. I almost <laughs> took one clean off the ground. I am not gonna lie. Yeah. Kathy Smith said, "Hey Jared, my grandson just got his hair done exactly like yours. Question: Is your curls natural or a perm?" I just have this naturally curly hair, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so Charlie Brown curly. reference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was her name? I forget, I forget her name, but... She, he was in love with her. Lucy? No. Oh. She was oh. the girl with the naturally curly hair. Natural curly hair. Uh, I don't, I remember I don't that know. Scene that Charlie reference? Brown's A Christmas Story, that's where that reference was from. But yeah, it's all me. Yes. At least he has hair. It's nice. It's so cute. <laughs> Tink Girl said, watching for about a year now, totally hooked, just wondering if we'll see if Brie Barely Bakes on the road once you both are off and running. Would love that. Yes, that's the plan. Maybe, an, be- maybe an apple pie. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny you should say that because I'm hoping when we go to different homesteads and stuff that they'll share with us their recipes yeah and we can try the recipe like, or, from like, the homestead we'll ask for Ooh. it there i like that like when we go to the current re- homesteads be like what's your favorite recipe that you that you yeah. love to Would use you, we willing to share that or it's not a family secret so that's that's the plan <laughs> yeah. this place probably had some really cool recipes mm-hmm. yeah and for those, we can just look up old homesteading recipes if we can't find anything. Yeah. Makeup Lover 68 said, Hello, family. So I realized there was a whole treasure trove of old videos I'd never seen. I've started on the journey of watching them all. My first question from the old videos, was the heart-shaped sandbox your first foray into earth bag buildings? I don't think so, actually. I think the first one was my building. Yeah. And then I think we did the addition... Mm-hmm. Uh, we kind of were doing those almost at the same time. Mm-hmm. And I think that the heart-shaped sandbox was just something, something fun Shay. to do with her. We just had a little birthday bit. Was birthday was coming up, I think. I think. It was birthday, yeah, I think for Yeah, I think we Shay. built that little house for her. Yeah, we built we, had, we bought her a, a book on forts or something. It was uh, like little houses that you could make, like playhouses. And so w- the idea was when she got the book for her birthday, was she was to pick something out of that book and whatever she picked out we would build for her as mm-hmm. a family and so that's she picked out that little house and we built that little house and then i think then from then we thought well let's do oh, a little, little heart-shaped sandbox, yeah. sandbox out we moved that around we had that yeah. for a long time mm. it was really fun to have painted that it idea. pink yeah we did painted it pink <laughs> to match the house <laughs> So, and that house is still out there. It's a little playhouse. It'll probably be out there for as long as it stands, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> we got grandkids running through it. So. Yeah, yeah. We got, got those things going on now. Bryson was so funny. The backwards hat thing. He's really conscious about the backwards <clears throat> hat because he's, I think he feels like they think he's a punk if he puts his hat backwards. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? But oh. Gail Burgett said, what's wrong with your hat being on backwards? And the answer is nothing. <laughs> it's just the thing Bryson has. So he's like, oh, sorry. He wants it on forwards. I don't know. But we thought that was funny. We laughed every time. So like, eh, we'll keep it in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that that is going to wrap it up for us today. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else that we wanted to mention? I know we've got some stuff coming in next week. Yeah. Uh, Garen and Ellie got something coming on Wednesday. And of course, I mm-hmm. believe that something's, I'm sure, going to be on the van. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Friday, Bryson has been working diligently on his well rig. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, he got that thing rolling and it is a lot of fun we had oh a lot of fun um, yes we did <laughs> jumping on it and jumping back as he's running away. It was, it was good times yeah good so times that'll come out on friday yeah so we're really excited to share that with you really appreciate you being a part of our family want to give a special thank you to our patron supporters thank you for your financial support really appreciate that if you're interested in donating a buck or two a month that uh, goes a long way for us so the link will be down in the description and And we will see you shortly on Wednesday. We'll be coming to a YouTube channel near you. (laughs) Specifically the My Little Homestead one. Yeah, there we go. (laughs) All right. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.